Hello. For question four, part A, we're looking to find the stationary points of this function. So we'll start by expanding the brackets. So we get x cubed on two plus three x squared on two minus two. And then as soon as you see stationary points, you know to take the derivative. So we're going to bring the power down, subtract one from the power. So we get three x squared on two plus three x. And that minus two disappears. Now we're going to set this equal to zero to find stationary points where the gradient is zero. And then we'll times everything by two, which will give us three x squared plus six x to get rid of the fraction. Let's factorize that. So we're going to take out three x. That gives us x plus two in the brackets. We'll start working up here. We have 3x and in brackets x plus 2. So that means x equals 0 or x equals negative 2. So we haven't answered the question yet because it wants the coordinates of the stationary points, not just the x values. So let's find f of 0. Well, that is going to equal, that's all going to disappear. That's going to be negative 2. Let's find f of negative 2. So we're going to have negative 2 cubed on 2 plus 3 times negative 2 squared on 2 minus 2. That gives us negative 8 on 2, which is negative 4. And then we get 12 on 2, which is 6. Then we get minus 2 here. Let's see, minus 4 minus 2 it gives you minus 6. Add a 6, you get 0. So we can state our stationary points. We have 0, comma, negative 2 and negative 2, comma, 0. And that's part.